I'm Nan, and I am the Wells Fargo teller. And today I'm going to be talking to you about credit. So I'm going to start off with a quote from the um, American Bank Associ Association. It, it says, teens should think of credit score, should think of, should think of a credit score as an adult CPA. It's a numerical reflection of how you've managed your finances. And we're all students here, so we all have payments, we all have, you don't really have time to go to a bank and sit down with a banker and see what our financial options are. But it's very important, just like you would go to a doctor when you're sick, you would go to a banker to see your finances. So um, there's a quote from Aaron Laurie, and it says, your credit report and credit score are two of the most vital aspects of your financial health. So today, I'm going to be talking about um, misunderstanding of credit, knowing your credit score, and why you should choose Wells Fargo for your financial assistance. So I am a Wells Fargo teller. I don't really know much behind what goes behind the credit scores, but I do know like the basic overview on it because we get training, and our trainings are for three weeks, eight hours long a day. So it's, eight hour, it's five days a week for eight hours for three weeks. So it's like really long training. Um, it, I, when I first started, I didn't really understand the importance behind building credit, but sitting down with a the banker, they kind of opened up my view and my eyes on how credit is really important to, and to start it now that we're younger. Um, I think so, at this point, and misunderstanding of credit. So many of you think that uh, credit is based on how much money you have, how much money you earn, but it's not. Uh, credit is built on time. So even if you make, I don't know, $300 every two weeks, or you get like the most, the, a part-time job, like you're still able to build your credit. And the amount granted is based on how much you can give the company. So let's say that in a month you earn $1,000. They're not gonna give you $1,000 in credit. They're only gonna give you like 500, 300, just so you won't, it, so they know that you won't be overwhelmed with the amount. And then the sooner the better. Like, it's good to establish a relationship with a company, with a bank. Let's say you bank at Chase. If you start at a Chase, it's most likely for them to be giving you a credit card than it is Wells Fargo if you just started building if you just started um, a relationship with them. And clothing stores do not count. So let's say you have um, a credit card for Victoria's Secret or Gap, and those that doesn't help your credit. It can destroy your credit, but it can't help you build it because it's not like an American Express and it's not a Visa. Okay. And then, um, do you know your credit score? So according to creditcards.com, only 26% of students know their credit score. It is important to know your credit score because you know where you are financially. But don't do it often. Every time you run your credit, it affects your credit score. So if you do it like every three months, your credit score is gonna go down. So it's what my bankers told me is that it's good to check your credit score every six months plus. So just so your credit doesn't get ran as often. And just try to remain in good standing with your payments. So let's say your payment is due on the 12th, try to do your payment on the 7th, just so you won't hit the late fees. So uh, why did you choose Wells Fargo? So Wells Fargo is a, uni a university bank. So every any um, check you get from, the, from any school is gonna be Wells Fargo. Well, I, I think it's universities. I'm not sure about community colleges. Um, and then there's a provider always on campus. And um, if you use the ATM, it's a Wells Fargo ATM, so you won't, you won't get charged. And even if you do a cash advance, a cash advance is when you take money out of your credit card and use that money. So um, don't do it that often, because that also can damage your credit. So once in a while, a cash advance is okay. Um, so if you use a, another ATM, let's say you have Chase, and you want to use another ATM that's not Chase, they're going to charge you. So if you have like a Wells Fargo account, and then you come here, and you try to take money out, it, there will be a fee for you. And um, most of the employees that are in Wells Fargo are students, and um, a student's not going to advise you to get 
something that will benefit you. Because we see each other as like, we want to help you so you can help us in a way, just so whenever there's a situation and we have to go for you to help, like, we'll know that there's a good relationship between all of us. And there's different types of credit cards. So there's a college credit card, a secure credit card, and a rewards credit card. Those are the three most common credit cards that are um, given. So a college credit card is for college students. Um, usually the, what they ask for is for proof that you're enrolled in school and that your GPA is above a 3.0. Um, a secure credit card is usually for people that want to start their credit but they don't have good credit history. So what you do is you give $300 and then your credit is the $300. So you can go over the 300. If not, that will make your credit look bad just because you go over your limit. A rewards credit card, every time you swipe a card, it gives you rewards points. And those rewards points go straight to the debit card, which is the red one. And um, when you get the rewards points, you can redeem them. So you, there are extra money given to you. So it's like a little bonus, it's a gift. So today I spoke to you about um, building your credit, why it's important to start building your credit. Oh, and also, credit card, um, Wells Fargo doesn't charge you for having a credit card. Some places give you an annual fee, but they don't. So basically you can just cut the card, never use it, and your credit starts building. So if you cut it up, you, there's no like limit on it, so it's fine, you don't have to worry about anything. You can't cut up the secure card though, because you actually have to use that one. But if you get a college card or a rewards card, you can shred it as soon as you apply for it and you get uh, accepted for it, just give it to the banker, make him shred it so you won't use it. And then your credit will start building just because credit is built on time, it's not built on how much how much you swipe your card and how, you build your, and how much income you can give to the company. So, um, so I talked about the misunderstandings of credit and knowing your credit score and why you should choose Wells Fargo as your financial assistant. Um, so I'm going to finish this with um, something personal. Like I don't want to live with my parents forever. I'm pretty sure none of you want to live with your parents forever. So it's better to start off your credit soon so you won't have to live with your parents for the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you.